Yo, what's going on good people? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy LLB. I hope you're all having a really great day. Today, I'm actually out here making a loop for my guy Jay Cactus. Uh, basically, he's working on this mixtape that he's putting on Spotify. It's more of like a beat tape and he's dropping just a load of really nice drill beats. Just standalone beats with tons of drops, tons of different vibes. And yeah, he asked me to cook up a loop for him that he can flip into drill and then put on the on the mixtape. So I'm out here cooking up today, man. I think I'm going to pick up the guitar, but I think I'm going to give him something different. I'm not going to go for the standard dark guitar minor chords. I'm actually going to flip this thing on its head. I've been learning a few major chords. So I'm I'm gonna lay those down around the drill tempo, find a nice little finger picking style. Yeah, try and make a really nice loop out of it. Hell, I might even add some drums to this myself. So yeah, let's just get into this one, man. Before we do though, if you haven't already, the Chambers Bundle Kit is out. We've got tons and tons of sounds in there, really hard 808s, really clean drum samples, guitar samples, mixing presets, hi-hat midis, you name it, it's all in there. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna go and jump on that. But yeah, man, let's just get into this one. All right, let's start this thing off then, man. Let's get the guitar out. Alright, let's try something like that. Yeah, something there. And I'm just gonna add in some little guitar knocks, you know. Alright man, this thing's sounding nice and clean. I've got a couple of top lines, nice chord progression, and a little perk loop on there. I'm just gonna go and add a little bit of processing. I don't think this needs much. I've added a bit of EQ. That massive cut right here is when I was just sliding between the notes. But yeah, I'm gonna come in with the Beauty Child compressor, just damping off on those transients a little bit. And then I'm just gonna add maybe a tiny bit of reverb and I think that's it. And I'm gonna ease off on the mix a whole lot as well. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of delay as well. Okay, that's sounding clean. Now I'm gonna go into that little top melody. I'm gonna affect that separately. They're a lot quieter, so I wanna affect those kind of a little bit separate to the chords. Come in with a bit of EQ. Take a bunch of the low end out. And I might just add a little bit of shape of box just to give this thing a bit of a filter, just to give it some movement. Sounding clean. And then the last thing is just to put that little perk loop that I did with the guitar, just when I was slapping it. Just gonna put that into the mixer as well. EQ this a little bit. And then just add a little bit of noise reduction to that as well. Yeah, that's just sounded clean, man. Alright, cool. I think I'm gonna add just a couple more elements to this. I think maybe just a nice little soft pad, something to fill the low end out as well, and then maybe a nice little vocal, which I might actually record in myself, but yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Alright, so I'm actually gonna come in to expand for this. Gonna put that into the mixer and just add a whole bunch of reverb to it. Shape a box. Alright, let's add some bass. Remina 2.
yeah, happy with that. Nice bass, nice pad, got the guitar, got the percussion stuff. I think it's just literally a little vocal chop that needs to go over this. And then I think we're done with the sample. Before I go in with this vocal though, I want to make sure that I'm at the right tempo because I'm making this for like a, a drill kind of vibe. I need it to be around that drill tempo, like 140, 142, something like that. So yeah, let's just bump up the tempo a little bit. There we go. All right, let's find a vocal. That could work. Yeah, man, that sounds crazy. I don't even think that needs a whole lot of processing either. It sounds like it's got a few effects on there already. So I'm just going to EQ out the, the top end just to give it a bit more space, you know, make this thing sit in a bit more of a pocket. And then I think we'll be there with it, man. And then what I'm gonna do is turn this to Stretch Pro. I'm just gonna turn up the floor mint on it. It's just gonna keep the same pitch, but it's gonna like mess with the actual like vibe of the voice. I'm feeling that, man. All right, man, I think we've got the whole loop right there. This is what we got. Just start off with the chords, top line, perk loop, pad, bass. Nice and full. Vocal comes in, bass drops out, pad drops out. Come back in with the pad. It's more of like a first part of the beat. And then a lot of the elements come back, got the top line, perk loop, bass, vocal. Happy with that, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add some drums to this. I can't not add drums to this. I'm gonna send this off to Jay anyway, but I just wanna play around with this myself as well before I send it off to him. Nice and simple right there. Okay, let's go with some perks. Just gonna use my kit for that. Go back to the chambers kit. Another poke. That could work, to be fair. Subtle, but it works. Nice little shaker right there. That little shaker is just going to come in at the end of each four bar, like a little. Yeah, a little delay right there. And then we can pan those as well. Pan those to one side, those to the other. Yep. Yeah, I like that sound. I think that could work for this beat. Okay, little open hat. Before I even touch the open hat though, I'm just gonna come into the envelope, turn the hold all the way up, turn everything down, and in that way I can really control it. All right, that's a nice bounce for the drums. I don't want to add too much to it before we go in with the 808. I've got an idea for the 808. I think what I'm going to do is have two different 808 patterns and two different sounds. So I'm going to have like a long-tailed drill 808 and then it's going to switch to like a trap, like Zaytoven 808. <laughs> something simple like that and maybe this one I could slide up start down here and then we'll slide that one all the way up maybe even shorter than that yeah that's it and then a kick and then we can go in and switch this 808 up go with like a Zeta and 808 or something like that That 
Sad. Yeah, that's it, man. Gonna overdo it. Okay, cool. Let's go in with this second 808 pattern then. Just come back into the chamber's kit. Something like that. Actually, that one's a bit more subby. Let me go up to F. A little busier section right here. Hard. Okay, that sounds hard, but let's see how it transitions between the long 808 compared to the short one, just to see if it actually merges well. Oh, it works. It works. Yes. It's, and it goes back to the first one as well. Like it transitions back to the long one nicely as well. Yeah man, that's the full beat right there man. That oh, vocal chop is so crazy man. It might just be me, but I, I, I'm really feeling that beat. I don't. I never really go into drill unless I'm like in a session with Jay, and it just naturally comes along. So it was really nice to just switch this thing up, man. But kind of keep things familiar with the guitar, but then just switch up the whole bounce with the drums, man. It was, it was really nice and refreshing. But yeah, I hope you guys like that one anyway. A little bit of a different one for you today. I do drill occasionally, but not that often. So it's nice to kind of switch this thing up, and hopefully you guys like it as well. If you haven't already, make sure you go and jump on the Chambers Bundle Kit. All the perks that I used in this beat and that little short 808, that was all from the Chambers Bundle Kit, and all the previous sessions that I've done. I've all been using the Chambers kit. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a subscribe. It really does help the channel a whole lot. Have a great, great day and I'll see you in the next one.